welcome to the 20th episode of me recollecting my classic Doctor Who character options action figures. I cannot believe we've made it to episode 20. It's insane. I think this episode will mark the end of series one. So series two of me recollecting my classic Doctor Who character options action figures will be coming very soon. We've had 20 amazing episodes. I really wanted to finish this one off with a big finale, a big bang. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that's been watching my videos, subscribed to my channel, liking my videos. It's been an absolute pleasure and a privilege to make these videos for you. I am really enjoying it. And as you can see, the collection is growing massively. I am overjoyed with how much I've got so far. Yes, I have spent quite a lot of money as you can probably imagine, but to me, it's worth it worth every penny. I'm trying to get the best shots possible of this collection because believe me, it took an absolute ice age to get all this stuff into the lounge displayed purposely just for this one video and then I've got the painstaking task of putting it all back in the collection room and it's gonna take me a long, long time, but it was worth it. I enjoyed doing it, so no regrets. I do hope that these videos have been encouraging to you to start collecting and carry on collecting with Doctor Who character options figures because if you're a classic fan of the series, there's so many episodes that have been covered with amazing, amazing figures. So that's something that I've always wanted to do as a young child and the stuff just wasn't available. It wasn't anywhere to be seen. We just had the Daypole stuff and now we've been blessed with all this stuff. I just love it so much. Of course, if you're a new series fan, then there's plenty of new series stuff to get your hands on too. I just focus on the classic stuff just because I haven't got the room to store classic stuff and new series stuff. It would just be impossible. But there are still quite a few sets that I'm missing, sets that I need to kind of buy again to complete my army building collection. So there is plenty more videos to come in me recollecting my classic Doctor Who character options action figures, I can assure you. But for now, here we have all the sets all together. These are all the ones that are mint sealed in a packaging. Yes, some of these will be being opened in future videos because I don't need, for example, four chase sets or two 11 Doctors box set. You know, I bought them for a reason. I bought them so I can army build certain figures. And a massive special thank you and shout out to the first person that is able to comment down below and tell me exactly how many sets I actually have because I can't even count them. I, I keep trying and I keep losing track. So somewhere in this video, if you've been able to work out exactly how many sets I have, please comment down below because I would love to know, as weird as that sounds. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up. This episode wraps up the first series of me recollecting my classic Doctor Who character options action figures. I really thank you from the bottom of both my two hearts for watching, and I will see you all again very soon in the next episode. So you know exactly what you've got to do. Take care of each other in the comments down below, and I will see you all again very soon. Goodbye for now. Question number two. Just how many hemispheres does a standard Dalek have on its skirt? Well.